Good morning gamers, it's your boy Googans. Welcome back to another YouTube upload. Or maybe even IGTV if you are a if you prefer the platform. Uh, so we're going to hop right into it boys. Today uh, I'm doing a video about the difference between linear aim and exponential aim. Um, I'm going to dive right into the exact definitions of the two um, in real world, uh, maybe even mathematical terms. Uh, and then I'm going to kind of explain what that means um, in Fortnite and why they use these two terms to describe the different types of aiming um, that they offer. Uh, there's a couple different main points I want to touch on and then we'll dive into detail um, more in depth for each of those points. Um, and I'm going to explain which one I use and why I think it's best um, in my opinion. Uh, but I'm going to give you guys a couple examples uh, and even a visual aspect of what the difference between the two are. Um, we're going to jump right into it. Now, looking at the two terms uh, in a, at a mathematical standpoint or describing them as they appear on a graph, uh, linear is a function that is changing at a constant rate as it changes, whereas exponential functions um, are changing at a rate that's always proportional to that value of the function. So it, it, to try and explain that in simpler terms, um, if, you, if you look at a visual of linear, okay, let's say the left side of this graph right here is dead center of your analog stick. So your analog sticks right on center, you haven't flicked it to the right, you haven't flicked it to the left. The back of this graph right here is the center of your analog stick, okay? As you move that stick out from the right, um, all the way over to where it, to where it stops essentially, to where your, your stick's all the way off to the right from center, it can't go any further. This is that right here on the right side of the graph. Um, throughout the entire process where you go from center all the way to the right with your stick, um, the rate stays exactly the same. So your sensitivity is gonna be the exact same rate no matter whether you're close to center of your stick or outside of the edge um, of your stick. So if you flick to the right, that, that swipe across your screen or that swipe while you're looking is gonna be the exact same rate of speed throughout that entire function. Whereas if you look at exponential, um, the center of the stick right here, say you, you do a little flick to the right, boom, right here, you, you stop about halfway before you reach um, peak uh, angle here, right? If, if that's the proper term. Um, halfway through that movement, uh, you're gonna increase the rate of speed or the rate of change just a little bit, um, but not fully. Now, once your stick gets all the way out to the right, you can see that the, the growth has changed uh, quite literally exponentially, um, and it's a lot higher. So if you flick your stick all the way to the right, you're going to be moving at the fastest rate of speed that you can on the sensitivity that you chose. Whereas if you make little movements right off of the start, um, it's going to be a lot more subtle. So if I'm on exponential, right, and I go to flick a, a edit or I go to flick a build or something, um, it's going to have kind of like a delay to it. It's not going to respond to your movement like instantly. There's going to be a slight delay. That's the best way to explain it. Whereas with linear, as soon as you move that stick off the center, it, it's moving at, at, at that constant rate of speed. Um, and no matter whether your stick's all the way to the right or all the way to the left, you're going to have the same rate of movement right off the center as soon as you start to move your stick. And to try to give that a better definition, um, directly from the Epic Games website, uh, it says that linear uses the raw stick input. So there's no digital or software influence whatsoever. It's directly what your thumb is doing to that stick. Um, where exponential causes smaller stick movement to have less of an effect, allowing for more precision, or they say. You know what I mean? Uh, that's uh, up for interpretation. Um, it, 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 it is, it's open to different opinions. And personally, I believe in the long run linear trains for better better muscle memory and that's why i myself am a big fan of linear aim and i've been on it for about a week and a half now and i will not be going back um 100 linear is going to train better mu better muscle memory because no matter how you're moving your stick around no, ma no matter which way you're flicking it's going to move at the same rate of speed the entire time whereas on exponential if you turn just a little bit to the right it's going to almost be a little bit slower than if you flick hard to the left or hard to the right all the way out to the outer edge of what you're uh, stick is capable of doing so again to briefly try and wrap things up here um 
personally, I believe in linear. I think it promotes uh, better editing, better building all around. Um, and I think in order for me to try and get as close as I can to the skill level of pro keyboard and mouse players, uh, linear is what I'm gonna have to do. Um, if you're not too worried about getting crazy with your builds and getting crazy with your editing, then I think either staying on legacy or switching to advanced settings um, and playing on exponential is gonna be the move for you. Um, if you don't want to play on linear, you might as well just stay on legacy in my opinion um, because personally the aim on legacy is just absolutely insane. Um, but hopefully this video helped you guys. If it, if it did help you, you guys learned something from this. Um, please feel free to subscribe or even leave a like. Um, comment down below if it did indeed help you. Um, check out my Instagram as well. I'm going to probably post this on IGTV following a day or two um, after I post on YouTube. Um, again, if you have any other ideas, any other questions um, or comments, please feel free to leave them. Um, and again, I will see you guys on the next video um, a week from today. I uh, hope you guys have a great holiday. Uh, big giveaway coming up on Instagram soon for uh, Christmas. So stick around and uh, stay tuned for that. Turn on post notice um, and get ready. I will see you guys later. Have a good rest of your day and peace.